Hello there. Today we are going to be talking about the new Tarte Amazonian Clay Airbrushed Foundation. This is supposed to be full coverage and I've got the color Fair Honey. I bought this foundation maybe about a month, two months ago and I really wanted to give it some time before I did a review or an, a tutorial on it because the first time I used it I was not impressed and I was like, well, shoot, because it's kind of expensive and so I've played with it quite a bit, used it many times just so I could get a good handle on how to use it and how to show you how to use it. Um, that's pretty much it. It was not my favorite at the beginning. It's made a comeback. It just took the right products and figuring out how to use it with like with any new foundation it always there's a learning curve. This one was just a little bit longer because it's really the first powdered foundation type full coverage product that I've used. So it took me a little bit of learning to get it down right but we'll go ahead and get into the tutorial. So we'll just go ahead and get started. We're going to start first things first if you need to put on a primer with this foundation to keep it on. Um, it's supposed to last for 12 hours on its own. I think that's a false claim. I like to put a foundation underneath, but I put a foundation underneath that lasts twice as long and it looks better when it goes on. If you don't put a foundation underneath, if you have any like dry patches or anything, it kind of sticks to it. So you really just need to prime that surface. So we'll go ahead and do that. We're going to use the um, NYX Shine Killer Primer. This is my favorite primer from the drugstore. It's nice and cheap. It works really well. So I'm just going to take, it's like a clear silicone. If you've ever used a smash, smash box original like photo ready primer, it's just like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. And because it's clear, you can't see it, but it really has a smooth like texture to it. It's really nice and it works really well. Okay, so after we put the primer on, we're going to go ahead and do the concealing. Um, you obviously can't conceal over a powder foundation because it wouldn't be set. So you need to conceal before you put it on. And because it's not as full coverage as it claims to be, you're probably going to need, if you use um, concealer normally, you're still going to need concealer with this foundation. So we're just going to go ahead and conceal a few little spots that we've got going on here. So this is the Revlon Photo Ready, yeah, Photo Ready Stick Concealer in 001 Fair. So I'm just going to do that with that concealer. Um, this does not work under your eyes, just FYI. I've tried it, it just creases super bad. So then I'm going to conceal. I've got a blemish here and that Photo Ready Concealer doesn't do a super good job with like blemishes. It does a pretty good job with like redness. And just making a little area lighter, but I'm going to use um, the Smashbox High Definition Concealer, and this is in the color Fair. And I'm going to use a this is actually I think a foundation Max Coverage Concealer Brush. I take it back from Bare Minerals. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of um, of this concealer right here. This concealer seriously works super well for just like covering up a blemish and it's the right color. I always find I have a hard time with concealers because from, at least from the drugstore because they end up being too dark. Even the fairest colors are not that light and I like my concealer to be a little bit lighter than my face. That way when I put my foundation over it you can't see it. Um, if it's too dark you just it obviously just looks darker. I'm just going to blend this out with the concealer brush as well. I usually use a concealer brush or a beauty blender to blend out my concealer, but since we're not doing a regular foundation routine, I didn't get the beauty blender out, so we'll just go with the brush. Okay, so we've got our concealer on, so now we're going to go ahead and put on the foundation. Um, this foundation is really unique and it has this stopper in the lid. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. Um, this is awesome because this stopper fits over the net, which is also unique about this foundation. So you can throw it in your bag and it doesn't get all over the place, which is super nice because if you have loose powder foundation, it just gets everywhere after you open it. Um, and this net is really unique too because it stops you from getting too much product on your brush, which is really nice so you don't have it like too heavy. Just really good product packaging. They thought it through really well. 
So they did a good job with that. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use this um, Pure, or is it Pure Pure Beauty Brush. This is just their like foundation brush. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on. I'm gonna pat it into the skin versus rubbing it. If you rub it, it just doesn't cover as well, so you just need to pat it in. It is kind of a time consuming process, but it works really well if you do it this way. Um, I did not buy the Air Buki brush that goes with this foundation because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it and I didn't want to splurge on the brush as well because the brush was just as expensive as the foundation was. So I was just like, I'll wait and see. And if I end up buying the foundation again, I'll buy the brush. That way I have it. But this works really well, this brush from Pure. I tried the Physicians Formula Kabuki brush that I already had with it. That doesn't work because the brush was too big to fit in this hole. So that's really the key is you need to have a brush that's about the same size as the netting so you can get the product on there. Otherwise you can't get the product on the brush very well so you don't get much coverage. As you can see this does a pretty good job of covering up just day to day like redness and stuff. I do agree that it's not a light coverage foundation. I don't know that I would call it a full coverage per se, but it's definitely medium to full. Um, especially if you throw a concealer. If you throw a concealer underneath of this, you're good to go. So maybe that's what they mean. Maybe they just assume that people are going to use concealer first. I don't know. I don't do the branding. So I really like this um, for just days that I'm not going to be at work, just kind of light days like today. Um, it's Monday, so I've got the day off. And so I really like that this foundation for days when I'm not at work because it doesn't last as long as, say, Revlon Color Stay does. I have a really good look with the Revlon Color Stay. It lasts on my skin for forever. So this one doesn't. It says it's supposed to last 12 hours. After like 10, it starts to look a little sketch. I mean, I don't touch it up throughout the day, so that could be why. If you touch it up, I'm sure it lasts way better, but I don't touch it up personally. I don't have time at work. <laughs> so. Um, we've got the foundation on, so now we're going to go ahead and go in with a setting spray. I really feel this helps the foundation just, again, stay on longer. And I use my matching setting spray and primer, and I feel like that just keeps the product on my face longer. keeps it from looking too powdery and everything. So this is the um, NYX Matte Finish Spray. It looks like this. I love, love, love this so much. I use this one every day, even with my Revlon Color Stay. It works super well. I've never used the Urban Decay ones, but I'm sure they work good too. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray this on. And let it dry. I really feel like that setting spray makes a huge difference. And I think that was the problem the first couple of times when I was using the foundation is I wanted to see what it did on its own. And on its own, it just didn't impress me. So I must just have the wrong skin type. I'm sure if you have like normal to drier skin, this foundation works really well for you because it doesn't get oily, your skin doesn't get so oily and so it doesn't rub off very easily. But if you have oily skin, you need to prime and you need to set it with a setting spray and then you'll be so much happier with it. So we're gonna go ahead and go and just put on some bronzer. This is the, again, Pure Bronzer in Mineral Glow. And I have the little um, bronzing brush that came with I got it at Ulta, I think, once and they gave, I got the brush for free. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. When I bronze, I always go from the top of my ear to my mouth, but I never take the bronzer past the side of my eye. So that way I don't have, like, cheekbones that look like they're all the way down my face. This bronzer you have to be careful with if you have light skin like I do because it's kind of, it can kind of come out orangey. Here, I'll swatch it for you on my finger so that you can see. If you are light and you put too much on, it's going to come out orangey. So you just really have to be careful. And if you get too much on your face, you really need to buff it out with like a brush that has a little bit of powder foundation on it or something because otherwise you're just going to look too orangey. It took a really long time to learn how to properly use that um, bronzer. Now I really like it. So what you're going to do, learn to work with what you have, right? I think you're just not going to buy another one if I've got that one. So. This, we're going to go ahead and highlight with the Physicians Formula Trans Translucent Pearl. Um, I can swatch this one for you too. This one is really pretty. It's not super pigmented, so that's good. It just gives a little glow to your face. We're going to use the Mineral, 
which one's this? Fair Central Angled Face Brush. I think this is actually for blush, but I don't use blush very often because my face is already kind of red in the cheeks. So I got to, I kind of get to skip that step. So we've got that on there. I don't put very much of the highlighter on, so I couldn't think of the word because I don't need much. But that is how I use um, this foundation for just kind of an everyday look. It works better if you follow the steps that I've talked about. And usually it lasts a good 10 hours or so. I really do like it for a not, for like my everyday, not going to work, not a crazy dress up event. But yeah, that is all I pretty much have to say. If you have any questions, leave them below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if there's something else you want to see reviewed, let me know. We'll see if we can make that happen. So you guys enjoy the rest of your evening and have a good one. Bye.